Hello again, everybody. The time has come. It is awards time. Um, maybe the most exciting segment of the day uh, because we get to celebrate our members, um, our customers and our partners. You all are the reason that this community exists and it's an honor to get to share and celebrate your successes today. I'd like to welcome Andrew Davis, my colleague and author of Mastering Salesforce DevOps to help kick off the Capato Innovation Awards. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks so much, Ashley. Delighted to be here. Great to have you alongside to co-host this exciting segment. We have 12 awards that we get to present today. They are the Rising Star, the Partner Innovation Award, a Customer Innovation Award, the ISV Innovation Award, Robotic Testing Innovation, DevOps at Scale, and then the following six awards were actually all peer nominated, uh, and that's our Leading the Way Award, the Response Hero Award, Growth Driver, the Thought Leader, our DevOps Hero, and the Community Professional of the Year. Really excited to get to recognize the individuals contributing in our community and to the DevOps success with our customers. Up first, we have the Rising Star Award. This award recognizes a Capato partner that is establishing themselves as a go-to partner for DevOps success. And the winner of the 2023 Rising Star is... Raksha Sangani with Fluido. So... <laughs> I love the applause, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, that's great. great. So you've got a, you've got a whole uh, crowd applauding for you, Raksha. So Raksha and her team saw an improvement uh, in cycle times of about thirty percent, enabling them to deploy new features more quickly and with greater confidence. Her team increased code coverage by twenty percent, and as a result, they can now provide a higher quality product to their customers, increasing customer satisfaction and operational efficiency. Congratulations, Raksha and the Fluido Thank team. You. Thank you. It was a really a pleasure and honor to be here as well as I think, you know, it's it's amazing that Capado does. That helps not just to us as a work, um, it helps our client as well. So I'm, I'm really happy. I'm happy for my clients as well. Thank you, Lovely. Raksha. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have our Capado Partner Innovation Award. Uh, the rapid maturity of the DevOps industry challenges everyone to continuously improve. And we know that partners are critical in helping customers navigate the change required to succeed. We value the integrity, transparency, and collaboration of our partner network. And the 2023 Partner Innovation Award goes to... Jade Global and Rajaraman Anandakrishnan. So congratulations. So uh, Raj and the Jade team, they were able to increase their Apex code coverage to about 96%. So right, right up there, they deployed over 300 data templates to support CPQ deployments. They increased their deployment frequency to production by about 15 times. They're tracking over 200 different kinds of metadata components. They have documented more than 800 different deployment tasks. And uh, Jade also is very interesting to me, built a custom Slack and Copado integration. And I was thinking there may be interest over on the DevOps exchange if you ever decide to, to share that more broadly. But congratulations on all your in innovation this year, Jade and Raj. Thank you, Copado, for the recognition. Uh, it's my honor to receive this award on behalf of Jade. Uh, we are here because of the collaboration support between the Jade team and Copado team from pre-sales to all the way to the implementation because we share the same vision that we want to solve customers' challenges and add value to them. And with this opportunity, I want to give a special mention to two of my team members who are critical in this engagement, uh, Raj Gautam, my release manager, and Krishna, my DevOps engineer. They not only were superstars in implementation, but they were critical in uh, adoption, improving adoption also. So thanks to them and uh, thanks for the opportunity and congratulations to all the other winners today. Thank you. Congratulations, Raj. 
At Capado, customer success comes first, and so it's thrilling to see what customers are able to achieve through adoption of DevOps best practices. The winner of our Customer Innovation Award is... IBM and Sarika Dilip Gaikwad. Sarika, congratulations. So IBM has four agile projects running in parallel using the same pipeline. So the team is releasing about twice per month and have automated their pipeline to handle conflict resolution, code promotions, quality gates, pull requests, and back promotions effectively. Really, one thing that stood out for me a lot in your story is that you've um, you've got every developer across all four teams trained and certified in Copata. So it's an amazing accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for this award. And uh, I, I wanted to thank on behalf of IBM and everyone, like uh, the endless possibilities which Copado provides is, uh, I mean, uh, it's uh, beyond, our, beyond our imagination. I mean, it's really great to, uh, you know, learn new things with Copado uh, every time and, you know, the things which it provides. Thanks. Thank you so much for that. Congrats, IBM. Love that story. It's amazing to see the power of just having the whole team trained and certified and what they're able to achieve together. One of the greatest aspects of community is the ability to collaborate and build things together. Um, and we're seeing that more than ever with the Capado DevOps Exchange. There we house accelerators that help customers adapt and connect their Capado environment to support their broader tech stack. And thanks to the many ISV partners that help our customers decrease time to value. This year's ISV Innovation Award goes to... DigitSec and Adrian Schwartzberg. Adrian, congratulations. Um, so DigitSec S4 uh, innovates by adding security awareness to Capato and to Capato Essentials with an integrated DevSecOps solution. So if you have security vulnerabilities introduced during the Salesforce development process, you can inadvertently expose personally identifiable information, company confidential information. And so fixing application security bugs early in the pipeline helps avoid costly breaches and prevent delays in shipping applications. So Adrian, congratulations. Thanks very much. Uh, thanks to everyone at Capado, particularly the product management team, which helped us uh, be a launch partner for the DevOps exchange, but also the uh, current version of Capado, where we're able to put our security testing uh, technology to really form the second Capado's DevSecOps. Um, we're seeing more and more need for this amongst uh, particularly the regulated industries where compliance is of great importance to them. So having this built into Capado means that it can be any Capado developer can seamlessly test their code for security as well. That's a, that's a huge, um, huge improvement for the Salesforce team. So, well done, DigitSec. Thanks, Adrian and DigitSec. Congratulations. And we just heard during the roundtable, robotic testing does not replace people, it empowers them. And this next award celebrates the teams that continuously deliver quality by integrating testing into every stage of development. This year's Robotic Testing Innovation Award goes to... Propic and Manju Janartanan. Janartanan. Sorry, the head of QA at Copic, also a, a Copado alumni. Uh, so congratulations, Manju. So Manju and the Propic team began leveraging Copado robotic testing last September, not that long ago, when they launched a major product release. So the development team was working very hard to respond to a lot of customer feedback requests, which created a lot of development changes, a lot of uncertainty, didn't know if they were going to break things or not. So the team needed a more scalable way to support testing. <clears throat> So the team invested about 16 hours to script, to write about robotic testing scripts for all of their regression testing. But that led to a savings of over 128 hours of manual testing effort every month. So now the Propic team has integrated CRT into their CI CD pipeline on their development environments so that developers can test before they give the build to QA. This feels like a great example of the QA team using technology to make their job more uh, more easy, more effective, and extend their capacity. So congratulations, Manju. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for choosing me. I truly feel humbled and grateful to be receiving this Copado Innovation Award this evening. 
CRT has been a fantastic tool that has helped in my career as a QA professional as well as a QA leader. And automation has always been a future. And cordless automation tool like CRT is heralding an era of transition from complex, tedious manual testing to a seamless automation testing. And I'm happy, um, I'm truly enjoy to be a part of a Copado community. So looking forward to see more innovative features in CRT in the coming years. Thank you. Congratulations, Manju. And this next award, the DevOps at Scale Award, recognizes organizations that are succeeding with DevOps in particularly complicated environments. These are environments that can include multiple production orgs. And this year's DevOps at Scale Award goes to... Brilio and Vamsi China, the architect of Brilio. So congratulations, Vamsi. So, um, Brilio is supporting a customer who has more than, I, I thought maybe this was a mistake when I read it first, but more than 150 Salesforce orgs. That is a lot of orgs. And 40 of those orgs are currently being managed by Copado. That's a huge undertaking. So Brilio designed a winning DevOps strategy for the customer, including a scalable branching and sandbox strategy and quality gates to help ensure a secure uh, development environment. They reduced deployment time from 18 hours to two hours, so nice. And time to restore after a production issue reduced from three hours down to 20 minutes. So the customer is now able to deploy every week with confidence and ease. Really, oh, you did it, Pop. Hi, everyone. I'm Vamsi Chinnam, and I'm a Salesforce architect at Brilio. Firstly, I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of our team for implementing and managing DevOps for over 45 Salesforce ops at Google. With the help of Copado, we were able to customize our DevOps process to integrate with Google's first party tools and adhere to strict security guidelines. This wouldn't have been possible without the tireless efforts of our Brilio team members to ensure that our DevOps process is efficient, secure, and scalable. I would like to thank each and every one of them. I would also like to thank Copado for their innovative platform, which made it possible for us to manage at such huge scale. Once again, thank you for this honor. Brilio team is proud to have received the award. Thank you all. Fantastic. So um, now we'd like to introduce the next batch of awards. Um, and for each of these awards, we have some runners up and as well as a final winner. So first of all, I'd like to announce the Leading the Way Award. Uh, there was some recent statistics from Salesforce that shared that only about 18% of all tech workers are women. And so Copado is on a mission, part of our mission is to create a more diverse workforce for the future. And we're very, very grateful for the women in our ecosystem who are leading the way for other women to enter the industry. So the nominees for the 2023 Leading the Way Award are um, Sheetal Chugule from ZS, Raksha Sangani from Fluido, Liz Helinga, the CEO and founder of Walden Edge, and Grace Buchanan, the Salesforce architect at Amgen. And the winner is... Raksha Sangani. Welcome back to stage, Raksha. Today is a big day for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, I would like to um, say thank you to Capado team for uh, recognizing the hard work that I do for others, not just for me. I, we always believe in that. I want to learn and if I want to grow, I need to share my knowledge as well. And that's all happened because Capado gave me that space as well. As well as I would like to say thank you to Fluido because Fluido gave me one day a week. Um, literally, just if I want to learn anything, any platform on Salesforce or Capado, and they were giving me two hours a day um, average wise, um, that's a long hours to give it out to any employee just to improvise and help others as well. So that's, that's incredible, I... Raksha. We're so grateful to get to benefit from that amazing uh, opportunity that you had. Um, <laughs> you've been a very active member, encouraging so many others to get certified, answering questions. You've really been a driving force in the Capado community, and we are so grateful for you. Thank you. It's such a good example of investing in um, education for employees, right? Like you imagine you know, 25 percent of the working hours reinvested back in education and so forth. I've got a feeling Raksha is more than 25 percent more effective 
because she's so well educated. Don't you Absolutely. Think so it's it's you know it's a little bit this idea of slowing down to speed up, but it's slowing down to invest and in making sure people know what they're doing and have all the tools, all the skills to really maximize their their effectiveness. Yeah. Okay, so this next award uh, is called the Response Hero Award, and this is really to try to honor all of those uh, heroes around the Capato community who are actively responding every single day to help each other. And so the Capato community is now, I'm amazed to see it's more than 70,000 uh, customers, partners, and rising DevOps stars. One of the most celebrated aspects of the community is that it's a place you can go for collaboration and help whenever you need it. So you can put a question out there anytime, day and night, and there's an amazing community of folks, response heroes, basically stepping up and giving their answers, their insights, their thoughts on that. So we want to thank everybody who participates in discussions to help all the other members on their path uh, to DevOps success. So we're grateful for those of you who make it your mission to ensure questions that are, are always answered. But in particular, we really want to honor these four people, these four nominees for the Response Hero Award. So first of all, we've got Hari Prasad Tanaraja uh, from Maximum Software Services. We have Svati Agarwal from Cloud Fulcrum. We have Guillaume Lubier from Maximum Software Services and Ram Reddy Bonala from Informatica. So, and the winner is... Swati Agarwal. Swati is a collaboration queen. She's lightning quick with her thoughtful responses and questions, ideas, and brainstorming in the community discussions. Swati is a Capato champion and has served as a mentor in almost every cohort, that's every quarter, um, as a mentor since we started the program. She's a true response hero, making a big impact in the community and one of the very first to reach our new digital disruptor ranks. So congratulations, Swati. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Ashley. So yeah, uh, big thanks to Capado team and all the people who have voted out for me. So Response Hero Award, uh, it's the people who have voted for me. And when I started my Capado journey, I really got a lot of help from Capado community. So when I um, learned Capado and I thought, okay, now it's time to pay back to Capado community. So that is why I make sure whenever I get time to answer the queries. And one uh, thing which is my favorite is Capado mentorship program. So till now, I haven't missed any of the Capado mentorship cohort. And I try to be part of it. And every uh, mentorship cohort, I meet one... Uh, amazing person and in the journey of uh, uh, sharing knowledge with them, I learn a lot of things from them as well. So yeah, that's a great honor. And now the best thing is people literally know uh, my name Swati Agrawal because of Kapado community. So Kapado has gave me this uh, special presence. People literally ping me on um, LinkedIn and uh, like they literally say, hey, so you are the person who is on the top five list of Kapado uh, rock member page. That is literally very motivating and that um, makes me keep going. So yeah, thank you everyone and thank you Kapado team. And now people can say, hey Svati, you're a response hero. So you're, <laughs> so can we, and thank you so much. It's amazing, those accomplishments. I want everybody to notice also that that um, Svati uh, has now joined the Copaverse and there's yes. a special Copaverse character just uh, to highlight Svati there. So. You'll notice that on the next slides as well as we get to the other winners. So congratulations on entering this Copaverse as a response hero, Spotty. All right, so the next award is the Growth Driver Award. So <clears throat> when we talk about growth, we've seen a growth of the Capato community. It's grown 40% just in the last year, right? That's an incredible rate of growth. Now this, um, this growth is driven by all of the many rising stars and all the new members who come in and their contributions. But there are several members who've joined just within the last year who have already taken enormous strides to not only master Copata for themselves, but to encourage and support others. And so the nominees for the Growth Driver Award are Dimitar Stambolio from Arlanis Reply IT. Alexander Velitsky from Slalom, Manoj Kumar from Cognizant, Shashi Kumar from IBM, and Numan Manzoor from Volvo. And the winner of the Growth Driver Award is... 
Alexander Velitsky. Alexander has worked with Capato across his career at various consulting firms. He's been committed to bringing Capato wherever he's engaged with clients and with prospects and within the Capato community. On his own time, he created an integration with Capato in Slack. Uh, he then presented this at Dreamforce. Um, so thank you so much, Alexander, for being a critical member of the Capato community. Hello, everyone, and thank you all. Uh, thank you, Capato team. Thank you, community, for recognizing me. Um, frankly, I believe that my main achievement in Capato universe is bringing Blanca Leon Carter to know Capato. <laughs> she would probably get in Capato without me, but probably I accelerated that, uh, made this happen a little bit earlier than it would have otherwise. Um, you know, when it comes to Capato and how I feel about Capato, and these are very warm feelings, I would say that, you know, I've been in Salesforce consulting for quite a while. Salesforce at HANA is very big. I love my clients. But when it comes to Capato community, these are my people. These are people who understand barriers I face, understand my pains, understand my difficulties, and I do understand there. And that is the reason why I'm such a big fan of Capato and using it pretty much everywhere, encourage people to learn and uh, use it on their projects because it makes our life easier, right? Making deployments, not these scary thing that everybody is afraid of, but actually making it you know, a joyful moment for everyone. Um, so that was a driver behind me doing that. And um, I'm very glad that Lots of people can recognize that. That's very pleasant to see. Thanks. Thanks, Alexander. Thank you for bringing Blanca to us and also <laughs> love hearing the words joy and deployment together. So thank you so much, Alexander. <laughs> Don't usually hear those two words together. Right. <laughs> so now next is the Thought Leader Award. So um, what would a community be without its thought leaders? And, and we throw this term around a lot, but it's good to think about what it really means. Thought leaders are people who not only help others to learn and understand concepts, but who challenge the way we've always done things, that, that sense that there's one right way to do things, something that, that um, there's only one possibility, and instead offer new possibilities. They inspire others to think through problems critically, pursue knowledge as a path to solutions. So I want to thank all of the many, many thought leaders within the Kabata community, especially these four nominees for the Thought Leader Award. Speaking of, Blanca Leon Carter from Slalom, uh, clearly a thought leader, Sunil Bardwaj from HCL, Tarun Gupta from Tagbox, and Simon Wright from Zen Internet. And so the winner of our Thought Leader Award is... Blanca, congratulations, Blanca. Welcome, you are truly a DevOps thought leader. And we are so grateful for all of your contributions. You helped us establish our mentorship program and now you are a mentor yourself. Thank you for creating space for women in Salesforce and in Salesforce DevOps and for sharing your knowledge on stages at TDX, Dreamforce and, and volunteering uh, with many organizations in the ecosystem. So congratulations and thank you, Blanca. Thank you. I can say that, I don't know, I think Alex and Andrew are on the same wavelength as me this morning because one of the things that I've realized was that choosing to challenge and not seeing enough of people who look like me um, with the statistics that we talked about earlier in this award ceremony, there are only two Latinas, 2% uh, of Latinas are in tech and 1% of African-American in tech. And so when we look at the disparity overall, it's hitting our communities the, mo the, the, the most. And I feel like having access to resources to be able to skill up, right? And being able to skill up while we still need to deal with the other challenges that we are experiencing in society and in life is, is something that um, everyone should have support in. And I, I was very thankful to have met the Trailblazer community, the Chicago Ohana, the you know Capado champion community and community abroad of so many people who are passionate in this area. I didn't always realize I could do this. I was a mentee two years ago. Now I want to um, thank my slalom team, Tom Gello and 
and everyone, including Alex, who who helped this you know person who is in the minority here um, make their way and and really be in their element and love what they do. And I want to thank everyone in in the community who joins my book club sessions and um, learns along with me because this is a journey and you can do it no matter where you are in this journey. You're such an inspiration to us all, Blanca. Thank you. All right. And so <clears throat> now next is the DevOps Hero Award. So the DevOps Hero celebrates members who motivate and inspire others to tackle tough challenges, pursue their education, and rise in the DevOps ranks. And so our nominees for this DevOps Hero Award are... Again, Blanca Leon Carter uh, from Slalom Consulting, Robert Kingsley from Wipro. I've got a lot of fond memories from time at Wipro. Manju Janartanam, again, from Propic. Hari Prasad Tanaraja from Maximum Software Services. And Michael Jawecki from Privia Health. And the winner is... Michael Jawecki from Privia Health. Michael takes a certification first approach and actually encouraged his entire team at Privia to get Capato certified before they even began using the platform. Michael holds every Capato certification and is launching the Salesforce DevOps Center of Excellence for Privia Health. Congratulations, Michael. You're truly a DevOps hero. Thank you so much for honoring me. It's a unexpected and very nice. Uh, yeah. So. For me, yeah, it's all about inspiring other people. My entire team is here this morning, bright and early, 6 a.m. for us to take the CRT, right? So expect we have 14 Capato certifications as a team and expect that to be well over 20 by end of end of the week or whenever they actually finish the trails. So uh, big thanks for Privia Health to supporting this journey and allow us to really be what will ultimately be the first team at Privia Health to be a full CI CD pipeline and make, as you say, make release days obsolete. That's fantastic. Thanks so much, Michael. Excited to hear your entire team is here in attendance today and going after that CRT certification. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thanks, I, Michael. I love hearing the story about, you know, the, the success for Privia Health, the success for all of our companies depends upon the hard work of the individuals and the hard work of the individuals depends on finding a community that's supportive of them and training resources. And so this investment that we've heard from multiple teams so far of you know, getting their people certified, giving people time for training, making sure that they're discussing um, working collaboratively to help improve everybody's capacity. I think that's really what community is about. And so that brings us to our final award from this award ceremony, the Community Professional of the Year Award. And we're really delighted to have a chance to, to um, offer this award. Our community is thriving because of the incredible members who show up each day, from supporting other members in discussion groups to volunteering as one-on-one -on -one mentors. We heard about the mentorship program earlier to participating in product review and experience discussions because we always need input from the community. We're honored to have so many incredible members within our community. So this year we received over 100 nominations for our inaugural, for this inaugural award, the Community Professional of the Year Award. And the top nominees were Tarun Gupta from Vivanch, Mohammed Nadim from Cigna, Svati Agarwal from Cloud Fulcrum, Raksha Sangani from Fluido, and Sheetal Chagule from ZS. And the winner is... Tarun, congratulations, Tarun Gupta. Tarun is a multi-time mentor, one of the first to respond in discussion groups very active on social media and in his blogging efforts and actually helped us launch the new community blog uh, that will be launching in the near future. So thank you for all of your contributions to the Capado community this year, Tarun. Thank you for Capado for giving that award to me and I'm happy and blessed to be part of Capado community. It's uh, give me a lot of learning with the uh, guidance to support to our co-members and uh, also be part of a mentorship program. It will be uh, learn uh, and share my experience with others too. It will be helpful to me. 
and also we part of uh, that community be blessed to us and uh, also be had a instant response from your community member and program manager as well so this will be motivate to me be more help to people with the the pro community as well and yes, thanks a lot for again yes thank you congratulations again i love seeing these copaverse characters so the um the copaverse you know it, it's it's our way of animating and trying to bring to life these generic characters like developers and qa and so forth and then populating them with real people from around the community and i mean i don't, I don't know what i i know sort of the part of the vision uh and ashley i think you were probably part of this and creating this vision of a copaverse was really saying that there's a different kind of way of working that's more collaborative more supportive more focused on um, education more focused on uh, skill improvement that'll then if you can create that environment in your organization just help everybody to work better together yeah, yeah that's exactly right we find you know with the copaverse what we wanted to create was a place where um, people of all different roles are coming together to work towards a singular mission and that's exactly what we have within our community and i think why it's been so impactful i mean just who we got to hear from during this award ceremony alone covered you know many different roles different levels of experience different cultural backgrounds um and that's one of the things that makes uh, our teams and our our community so powerful I love seeing those immortalized uh characters and there'll be more to come with those as well as with how to share your capato ranks um, following this event today so congratulations to all of our award winners, it's truly amazing to see what you've accomplished and you inspire so many of us. Um, so we just wanna take this time to honor and thank you. Thanks everyone.